Should we check on him? Good morning, Max. Say good morning. Mimi and Max gonna say hi. Oh, good job, Mimi. Come here, Max. Good morning. Purple sits his tent. You want some of his toys? Hold on, he's waking up a little bit. He says hi. He says, love me. I don't think he's impressed. What's up, Mr. Max? Yeah? Um, I think his coat will lighten up a little bit. He's got a lot of fuzzies on his back end. Going in the car. Why do the cats like the car? We'll see how much he lightens up. His parents are a lot lighter than he is, so. Go, Mom. Oh, a string. Thank you. I'm going to give you a vacuum next. How's that sound? No? Just what I always wanted. I have a horrible headache and I feel really bad. I don't think I'm getting sick. I think this is just my fun stuff. I guess I'll just have to put more kitten footage in. Max is sleeping. Max is taking a nap. You can play with Max later, okay? Maxies. Maxies. Max has a lot of names. Baby. It's awfully quiet around here. Didn't go anywhere. No, 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 You can play with it. It's okay. Pick up your cards. Put it back in the container. Eddie, is that funny? Are you dressing up, BC? Yeah. You gave her a rabbit wig. Did you dress her up? Good girl, BC. Or did it curve in? Dang, that was crazy. It went in and around the goalpost. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Mr. Max over here who's enamored with the fire. He's like, this is cool. Be gentle. Hey guys, it's Sunday night. I wanted to pop on and give you a quick update how things are going. So far, Maximus, the new addition, is doing really good. So we got him Thursday night, and so he's been here only three nights, and he's really doing good. Him and Mia are about 90, 95% integrated. Mia sometimes gets a little grouchy with him um, when he tries to cuddle with her or if he just tries to wrestle in her face. But when I say grouchy, she just kind of grumbles and then they go off and continue playing. So. It's um, mostly just noise, but probably tomorrow night we'll um, try him out for the night. He's doing really good sleeping all night long, so I think he'll be okay. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any 2 a.m. play sessions, but uh, 
it is what it is. Dexter, I do want to explain, Dexter's not going to meet Maximus probably for another few days. Um, Dexter is almost 18. Introductions with cats is very stressful. Uh, Mia is very laid back about it. Bengals seem to be in general a lot more laid back about um, cat introductions and stuff. I don't know, my crew is anyways. But Dexter, he's a normal cat. Cats really um, do better when they can smell for a while the new cat before they do face-to-face -face introductions. So I'm trying to do about a week, week and a half of smell uh, before Dexter does an intro. Other aspect of it is Dexter has, um, he's a carrier of the herpes virus, which um, if you're not familiar, cats uh, have this type of herpes virus. It's different than what the humans have. It usually causes like a respiratory thing, like runny eyes, um, sniffles, that kind of thing. Um, he's kind of got a chronic condition where his eyes run. Uh, I do give him what's called lysine, which helps um, his immune system. And I've been really low dosing him for the last couple of months, so he's doing a lot better. But he still has the runny eyes, um, which is somewhat his breed, somewhat his um, herpes. So I wanted to take their greeting really slow because it'll keep the stress level down for Dexter, which means he won't have a flare up of his virus. And conversely, Max's immune system will be as strong as possible so that he's least likely to, um, there's a good chance, I mean, he's probably gonna contract it to some degree, but that he won't really have any symptoms. Mia, while exposed to the herpes virus, she doesn't ever seem to really show symptoms of it. So I wasn't as worried about her. Dexter introduction will happen probably in a few days to a week, depending on how they're both feeling. I want Max 100% and I want Dexter 100% and then they're both going to have a greeting. Another reason why I take it slow with the kittens, I keep, I'm keep i keeping him in um, our guest bathroom when we're not home and for naps. It helps solidify the litter box habits. Um, kittens are babies and when they're given too much space and too many new things, because when they're raised into in a um, very sterile sort of environment at the cattery. They don't have a lot of blankets and down comforters and boxes and paper and all that stuff. And so they're prone to mistakes. I mean, they're babies. So the more repetition he has in his litter box in this new environment, the better chance he has to never have an accident. I've done the same thing with Mia and Asia and they literally over a hundred percent from day one and never had a problem. And he hasn't had a problem and that's how I intend to keep it. You keep a litter box right near where they're at all the time. You make sure that when you're not around and you can't kind of babysit them, that you, they have no chance for failure. They're in a small enclosed environment. So that's why you create what we call a safe room for your kitten. Um, another reason for the safe room is that when you leave, things like cords and electrical outlets and um, like cords for blinds and things like that can be taken up and that way he has a safe area where he can't get into trouble when you're not around. So create a safe room when you bring a kitten home. It's very good. Very good for them from a training perspective and from a safety perspective. <laughs> I'm being hollered at. There's a, there's a toddler on the inside of the door. Mama! 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 Go Bronco! I sure hope I wasn't fuzzy this whole time. I have officially bit the bullet and I'm ordering a new camera. A decent camera, one that I know works. So, there's a new camera. I should have it by the end of this week. It's not that bad, but it was just, you know, I think somebody had mentioned doing like a, um, a fund so that I could buy a camera. I really do appreciate that, but you know, financially we can afford it. It was more mentally me trying to not put that stress on my husband and the budgets because that's what I feel like I have to do. As a stay-at-home mom, I think not bringing an in income, controlling costs is part of my job. And so that's why I try and be really careful with um, funds so that we can do things we want and have the house we want and things like that. And so I can stay home with her. So I can afford it. It's okay. I just didn't want to ask my husband for it and I didn't want to put more strain on the bank account if I didn't have to. It's all good. We'll get you a new camera because this thing is not focusing anymore. It sounds terrible. It just, unfortunately, I have to let it go. It's been a fun weekend, but you didn't take a nap today, unfortunately. Yes. So, we're gonna get you ready for bed. I think I have a little bit of footage of the cats, guys. I didn't take a lot this weekend because after a while I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy them. Max is a really great cat. He seems very even keel. You know what I mean? He's patient with Addie. 
So far, he's really just kind of balanced. We'll see how it goes, though. He's only 14 weeks old. Everything can change. We haven't even met Dexter yet. All right, guys. I will be filming more cat stuff this week, so don't worry. Even though I took a break a little bit, uh, they will still be around. Sometimes you have to just turn off the camera and enjoy things because that's life. Mm -hmm. Broncos won. Awesome. Didn't look great, but I think I've said this before. Wow. A win's a win. Moving on to the next round. Mama. Mama, mama. Can you say goodnight to the cat? Goodnight. Give him a high five. Good job. Blow kisses to him. Good job. Double handed even. Good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Me showing them how it works. Here you go. You're giving him all the balls to your baby? Okay, put one more in there.